Man, look at that. That is good looking, isn't it? 8,220 pounds of Cougar 27 SGS. This is when they updated from the 28 SGS and went into the 27 with a lot of updates like a better weather package, in command, all sorts of good things. Just landing down here to Advantage 1RV. I gotta tell you, not only does it look really good, not only was it, it kept very nicely, it was maintained very nicely, which I think is a little bit different. Especially, you'll see that when we get up on the roof, like the roof seals, the cleaning, the care, the maintenance, the TLC. This is what you want to find in the used RV market right here. And what I can tell you, just a quick surface glance, is that everything in here looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, they used it, I think, uh, eight or nine times, something like that. But they certainly didn't beat it up, and they definitely knew how to take care of it. I have a big suspicion this is probably not their first RV. One of the things I've always liked about this floor plan, it is really as short as you can effectively make a triple slide model. And having windows wrapping all the way around the living room like that, making such a huge difference to open it right up in here. That uh, This is... About as small as you can get opposing slide outs. And it's actually an interesting thing. I've actually always attributed that to being one of the main reasons that this was actually for several years the single best selling fifth wheel floor plan in the industry. And at the time, Cougar was the single best selling fifth wheel out there. Uh, at times, it's eclipsed only by its uh, big sister, Montana. But, uh, you know, there's a reason this floor plan, you still find so many of them out there on new and used lots. It's ultra popular. Now, um, we've got the uh, twin free-floating kind of uh, rocking chairs back here. Or, I'm sorry, not rocking chairs, recliners. They're not rocking chairs. They're actually specifically not that. I want to make sure I'm getting that clear. One of the other neat things is this was a big generational update for Cougar. This was when they first picked up In Command. And one of the nice things is that back here on the wall, this top light switch actually uh, can activate all of our living room lights without needing to either use your phone or get up and use the command panel. Everything's a little simpler that way. This one was built with the table and chairs option versus the booth, which is, I think, how I would prefer it. It does make the whole thing look and feel bigger. Not to mention, uh, you know, we, we've got plenty of seating in here. It's primarily a couple's camper, but you've got room to really entertain some friends or enjoy, say, like, you know, your favorite, uh, you know, let's say like races or ball game or something like that. And this big old jumbotron over here. And it's inward angled toward the RV. And the TV's on a swing out mount that we'll see when we open up the kitchen storage in a minute. So there's really not a bad angle throughout the house. Electric space heating fireplace down below. I call it the Tootsie Toaster. Takes the nip out of the air for us. You'll see that all of the countertops in this are also a sealed edge press membrane. Which gives everything just... A clean, kind of smoother look and uh, appeal overall. That's an eight cubic foot gas electric two-way fridge. And that over here across from us is a, uh, a tri-fold sleeper sofa. And what I like about it is its location so that it, it's, it's really, it's out of the way. So if you do have a guest for a day, a weekend or whatever, they don't stop you from accessing the kitchen, the bathroom, uh, anything else. It's just easy to navigate through. And stuff like this should really give you a good idea of like how meticulously kept this was. That's the original factory mattress still uh, in the packaging, never used, on top of their residential queen replacement bed that they did utilize. Over here on the in-command center, like I said, this is the first generation that picked up in-command. They still have the hang tag for this thing. Uh, <laughs> every All the original stuff appears to be here. This is a mount point if you want to put in a, a Furion kind of Wi-Fi access router. That, by the way, is the thermistor. It's a thermal temperature that talks to the in-command in case you want to change the temperature right from your phone. Another big update that came on this generation of Cougar is that this is the first time they were what people would call four seasons on the small Cougars, not the big cats. And part of that is was an entire underbelly heating insulation package difference that included, among other things, 12-volt tank heaters that you can activate right from here. And as we enter the bathroom here, I want to mention that this is one of those kind of real smooth, silky pivot doors. I know some people really like them. Some people are not a fan. I have a, I don't know. I, I can go either way on them. Um, I'm not really, you know, hot or cold. It's just, it's just another door to me. But I want to let you folks know so that you understand what you're getting into here. It does make it a little tricky to get some good angles on some things like that porcelain foot flush stool, though. Over here, the shower you see has a corner seat, and this is a six and a half foot tall uh, upper deck. 
So uh, if you're a little bit bigger like me, you can stand in there no sweat. Now you might be a little bit curious through the RV, you may see a couple dryer sheets. Right now you're seeing some what looks like Kool-Aid on the shower floor. The RV um, has been very well kept. Uh, it's winterized currently, which is what the pink stuff is. And the dryer sheets are a good way to help keep critters out of this thing. Uh, they, they work pretty nicely keeping spiders out of here. See a replacement shower head there? And that is a large vanity. And it's storage too, it's not just a mirror. Uh, so, you know, if you need a place to keep your shavers or your, your medications and stuff, you can. Big sink here, too. And good legroom in front of that stool. That's something I look for. Up here into our private front bedroom, we have a 60 by 80 true queen walk-around bed with a very, very slight bump at the base. This is, again, another year Cougar made a lot of updates, and that was one of them, getting rid of that 9-inch step of death. I think that this is like, you know how sometimes you see different body styles on vehicles? Uh, the RV industry, I guess, kind of similar in some ways. This was a major generational shift. Uh, anything older than this in the Cougar family really lacks a lot of the features that you're going to find on this one. This is also super CPAP friendly. Uh, the uh, side stands, we'll get a better look at the one over here because that second mattress on top of the uh, replaced mattress obviously makes it look a little tighter than it is. But note that radius corner right there with that nice smooth trim so that you don't roll over and jab your shoulder at night that's a nice little touch and like i said this is what i was talking about very very cpap friendly there are household outlets on both sides of the bed there are usb plugs here there is storage below uh both of those little side stands too and i really like that big viewing window that they have over here in the bedroom you hear a funny sound at night or you just kind of want to wake up and look out and man what a view uh, one other thing to mention, this is 50 amp service, by the way. It has a single 15,000 BTU air conditioner right now, but it is prepped and ready for a second air. If that's something you're interested in, that is the kind of thing that we can assist you with. Now, in terms of traveling, when the super slides close, you're going to lose the living room, you're going to lose the kitchen. The door side slide is going to come right up here next to the island. You're not going to be able to do a Dukes of Hazard yeehaw over to get to that uh, refrigerator or anything like that. So the length is really good for towing. The size is great for towing. The space is really nice for getting there. If you do plan on travel stops, other than just the bedroom and bathroom, you might want to bring a little cooler and put it inside the door or something like that. Or get one of those uh, like little 12 volt fridge cooler kind of jobs that you can just plug into the cigarette light of your car and have some drinks or a sandwich or something on the way. Let's hop outside. I mean, you don't have to look long or hard to see all the gleam on the skin. Uh, the uh, slide awnings that were added to this, that's a nice little touch. That's not something you often find on a lot of Cougars. Anti-slam entry door, that's that friction hinge door. And this is the first generation that you started to see those more ride stable steps really make their way uh, big time into the market. They started first with more premium brands like Cougar and they've since gone to pretty much everything after that. This was also the first generation when they redesigned that step in the bedroom, They, re they what they were actually doing was redesigning this basement to make it bigger. And frankly, it rivals that of what I call Big Cat Cougar. Um, you can see outside TV hookups, you've got motion uh, activated lighting here in the passer and in the docking center on the other side, plus that in command system right there. If you're not familiar with that, basically that's like the brain, the central nervous system of this RV. And one of the things that I like about that command panel out here is that if you don't want to uh, you know, go Bluetooth and hook your phone up to it, or you don't want to trek inside and outside the RV, there actually is a selector switch in there where if uh, you want to say like, operate one or the other of the jacks, the slides, the awnings, you can do that stuff from outside of the RV. You don't even have to go all the way in. This was also a generation that featured the upgraded pin box and suspension system here. And they call that Cougar Vision, that little spot mirror. Uh, so you can you know see if your hitch pin is connecting in case you got something like a folded up tonneau cover that's kind of blocking your vision. Another thing I really noted was not just that there's slide awnings on the big slides, but even that little one, like maximum protection going on here. Now, this was the first generation of what is called the Cougar Half Ton Series. That is the name of it. That's uh, not, it wasn't the first generation of that. It was the first generation of Cougar Half Tons that were hot, cold camp rated is what I meant to say. But remember that name is just a name. It's Cougar Half Ton. That's the name of this RV. It might imply half ton towability. It's not going to guarantee half ton towability. Typically, this RV will actually be a better fit for a lot of three quarter ton pickups. It's actually a really nice pairing for someone who doesn't want to go diesel. If you want to stay, uh, you know, gas, this is a great one for a three quarter ton gas or actually to just, that truck could yank it all over the country. Um, we've got power front leveling jacks, power rear stabilizers. So everything on this is push button easy. 
Another thing that's easy to miss is that you've got a two inch receiver hitch uh, back below this rear wall, but you've also got yourself a rear view observation camera mounted up top there. Not just the prep, that actually has the camera installed in it. And once again, tinted maximum airflow windows all around the sucker. So it doesn't matter where you're sitting. It doesn't matter what side the scenery is on on your campsite. You've always got a good view of things. I'm also seeing really good preventative care and maintenance up here on the roof. Uh, like you notice there's kind of like two different color roof sealants in play right here. The darker stuff like right here on this vent, that's the original factory stuff and overall it looks pretty good. Previous owners I can see where they were right on top of it though. They were keeping track where something just needed touched up and it actually looks like around the fixtures that needed it, they'd done some full peel and seals. So, uh, I mean, really, the especially for the RV having been in storage recently, the roof looks really good. It really indicates to me that they were really on top of their care, maintenance, cleaning, upkeep. The slide awnings look good. It just doesn't look like it was neglected. It just looks like they're done camping, which is a very important distinction, I think. So what do you think? Leave us a couple comments. Let us know. Overall, I'd say she looks pretty darn sharp. If what you're looking for is a, a, a good traveler, but with a lot of space when you get there, maybe you want to do some north, south, or east, west, snowbird, sunbird camping. I could see that being a really good fit. Or maybe you're, you're transitioning out of a bunkhouse, but you're not right to that uh, big, say, like Montana or North Point Pinnacle retirement fifth wheel yet. This is, this is something that you, I think you'll really like. I think it's going to do a real good job keeping you entertained in the meantime. Short of that, any other questions you have, let us know. Take care, stay safe, have fun and have an A1 day, everyone.